So overall, obviously happy with the with the win. I thought uh, after a rocky start, where we didn't really execute the game plan at either end, uh, we we got really locked in. I was I was actually most uh, pleased at the end of the game with that last group that was in there. They played terrific together uh, defensively. They did everything exactly the way we talked about doing it, and on the offense, they shared it. So I was really happy with that. But you know, overall, good next step for us. And, uh, you know, good group coming in here on Friday. So we're going to have to continue to get better. Well, I, my concern really is, are we locked into the scout? Okay, so we have very detailed scouting reports. And if I see us doing things right, then I feel okay, you know, regardless of what the numbers say on the scoreboard, we can make adjustments. What I don't like is when we're not executing the scout, then it's hard to say what adjustments do you make because you haven't actually done what you wanted to do to begin with. So, you know, was I concerned? I'm always concerned. Uh, I was more so concerned that we weren't following the scout than I was the scoreboard. Well, I think it's just a situation where we have a, you know, a couple of folks who we know are going to play big minutes. And then we have a bunch of folks who are really interchangeable pieces. And so we're just trying to find uh, the next couple in the rotation that can do it consistently. Because I think everybody, all of them have done it at times in spurts. Um, but we haven't found kind of that fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth person to do it consistently every day. So, you know, that means we just rotate them in and out, and who's ever having a good day that day, well, that's who we'll, we'll roll with in that game. Yeah, I think all three have big, big futures. Uh, really talented kids, skilled. They've got a long way to go. They know that. Um, but they're making daily progress. Um, you know, right now it takes time for things to hit their eyes, get to their brain, and then make their feet do the right thing. Um, eventually, someday, it'll happen in a split second and they don't have to think anymore. And, um, but that doesn't happen overnight. Well, I'm pleased with our, with our progress. Um, that's really our mantra. Just keep progressing, keep improving. Um, hopefully, we're learning and, uh, while winning. You know, oftentimes learning uh, turns into losing. And right now we've been able to learn while winning, which is, which is great. So Friday's going to be a big test for us. I'm excited to see if we can raise our level another step because we'll need to. They're, uh, you know, they're ranked in the top ten of the mid-majors in the country. Awesome, awesome coach, great program, excellent players. So we're going to have to – we'll be really tested. I'm excited to see where we're at. All of them. I mean, I think if you look at, uh, honestly, you know, I think if you look across the board, everybody's got good players, you know, some more than others. But if you look at the preseason rankings, um, you know, the folks who return the bulk of their teams and they were in the semifinals and finals last year, you expect them to be really good. So, you know, that's the case with Lehigh. That's the case with uh, Boston. That's the case with American. That's the, you know, so right down the line, I th expect those teams will – will be at or near where they were ranked in the preseason. And I think there were some teams, um, you know, down the ranking a little bit that are on the come. I think Army and Navy are both teams on the rise. I think Loyola, I've watched some of their games there. They've had some, some good nights across the board. Um, I've been impressed with the league as a whole as I've watched it. I think, I think it's going to be a very, very difficult year, and there will be no easy nights. It's great, you know. It's a, it's amazing. It's the same building we played in last year, with the same bleachers and the same floor and the same paint and the same banners and everything's the same except for one thing, and that's the fans, which makes it a completely different place. And so that's really all you need to know. They 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 create the environment. They turn this from from a building uh, into a place to be, like an environment. Um, and so. I couldn't be happier to be home with them. I, hopefully we can continue to get better and give them a good product to come and see. Um, and then, you know, it'll start to exponentially increase the numbers at games because uh, th there's no better place in the Patriot League to play when the people are in the building than Soika Pavilion. Um, I think it's definitely the, um, the confidence from our whole team. Uh, we're a really young team, and nobody expected us to do well. So we kind of have that uh, that pressures off of us to kind of go out and like do something amazing. Like the last couple of years, we've had a really good team, and everybody's expecting us to play like really, really well all the time. So um, this year, everybody kind of just like thinks that like we are coming out here like not really knowing what we're doing, and like we're still trying to figure out all of our stuff. But like 
us as a unit, like we have so much uh, new and exciting things to offer. And I think the way we play is so well together. And I'm just like really excited to like finally start the gears turning and get everybody on the same page. And like once we clean up some things, like we're going to be hard to stop. Our bench is really small, so uh, we don't have a lot of players and we need everybody to be able to step up and uh, uh, step up to the occasion. And uh, because there is so uh, little uh, little amount of us, um, everybody's going to get an opportunity. So once you get the opportunity, you got to be able to step up to the plate and uh, show us what you can do. And I'm so proud of all of the younger kids for being able to step up so quickly, so early in the games and uh, just show that they're able to like go out there and like give us their best shot. And I'm so proud of them for how hard they've been working. Yeah, for sure. There's so many things uh, that we have to do like outside of basketball, just like team management like we are constantly with these girls and we're trying to make sure that their classes are good that their uh mental health is really good to because we stress that a lot and we want to make sure that everybody's happy healthy and like ready to go because it's a hard long season and we are trying to make sure that everybody can make it through then so we are really excited and just trying to stay everybody positive keep everybody positive and um just play through the adversity. Um, it's all about um, opportunities that present itself, and um, there's a lot of like open lanes to take, and if they stepped over, there were open kickouts, just knowing what to do at the right times, and there were a lot of open good kickouts, and my girls were able to knock them in tonight, so like being able to just like move the ball like opens up opportunities for them, opens up opportunities for me, so just being able to uh, look at those um, opportunities and be able to make reads on them. So It's a long game, just playing within ourselves, not getting too um, stressed out in the beginning, like just being able to um, go out, play how you know how to play, don't overcompensate. And if you get really nervous in the beginning, be like, oh, they're still with us. Like then you force stuff and it gets kind of like spastic. But um, just staying calm, staying together, like ev everything will flow, everything will come. Our defense came, uh, we cleaned it up towards the end, and it was like that's kind of what uh, changed the game for us was just being able to get stops on defense and scores on offense. Um, definitely change of pace. Um, it's really nice to have all of our uh, fans back in the arena. This has been a really long drought without any uh, games with fans here, so it was like a big change. And um, the girls were able to handle the pressure really well. And um, just because playing in your home, like all your friends are here, and you want to like do really well. And I think my girls played really uh, well together. Uh, they played really hard, played for each other, and um, we were just able to get a, a big dub. So just going off of that and taking it into the rest of the season is going to be exciting.